Colleen Fashion Sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the back stitch. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have an example of a back stitch and it is done by hand and what happens is in order to sew forward you need to stitch backwards which I'll show you how to do that in a moment and the um, back stitching resembles a sewing machine stitch and it's one of the strongest hand stitching that you can actually do. I've got a hand sewing needle, um, it's double thread and I've got a knot at the end. Now you need to start at the back of your fabric and I've indicated here with a little dot this is where you need to actually start your first stitch into your fabric. And remember you're going to be working backwards so you're kind of like working from right to left then put your needle back down and then you're going to flatten your needle against the back of your fabric and you're going to come a few millimeters away from your first insertion into the fabric and pull now there you have your first back stitch and then I'm going to go backwards near enough to the first insertion into the fabric for the first stitch and pull it through and you've got another back stitch and remember I'm working from the back of my fabric and you're going to keep as much as you can in a straight line so I've come through glide my needle through pull back into the original stitch pull you've got your stitch so you remember you're working backwards but also moving forwards I'll do one more through my fabric up back flatten against my back of the fabric making sure I move forward pull my needle through and that is how you do a back stitch. I'm back to my original sample of my back stitching here and one of the reasons we use back stitching as I said before um, for strength and it also resembles your sewing machine stitch but it's one of the earliest forms of hand stitching garments together. Now this I've created a seam here. Just turn you out of the way and you can see how it is quite strong stitch. Now to show you the back and that is what it looks like on the reverse side. Well I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. It's important to know your basic hand sewing stitch because it can save you time in sewing projects when you need to get to those difficult areas. If you have any questions or comments please put them in the box below and I'll see you next time.